everyone so before I get into this February favorites video I wanted to let you guys know that one of the two giveaways that I started in February um, it's ending tonight at midnight and it is the Pinkalicious giveaway so if you guys want to get your entries in please do so right now um, it ends tonight at midnight so yeah last chance here um, I do have another giveaway going on the Urban Decay giveaway and if you guys would like to enter that I have that um, giveaway listed down below in the info box or down bar, whatever you call it. I have both of those listed down below in the info box. Please enter. Don't forget. Now let's get into my February favorites. And I don't have a lot to show you guys just because I've been so busy. Um, I haven't had time to collect everything, but I'll show you guys what I do have. And as usual, I'm going to start off with my non-beauty product favorites first. And I'm going to show you uh, these cookies first. And they are the Pepperidge Farm Brussels. And I have just been loving Pepperidge Farm lately. I just think their cookies are so delicious. And I feel like when I was younger, I didn't appreciate them as much. Or I just didn't think they tasted very good. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, I've been really loving the, their Tim Tams. I've been loving their Chessman cookies. Um, I mean, that's a classic. So I think I've always liked that one at least. But these Brussels, I forgot how good th these were. And, oh, they're just so good. They're like really thin and crisp. I guess I could show you guys like lacy cookies and in between the lacy cookies um, are, sorry, it's really odd. So these lacy cookies have like chocolate in between and this is kind of like a Milano cookie but way better because the texture is just like out of this world. It's so so good and it smells good. I don't actually like the Milano cookies. I just find them to be kind of boring. Kind of one note. You taste the chocolate and you taste the cookie but it's just not like crunchy enough for me. And so yeah these Brussels are just like so much better and if you guys haven't tried these yet definitely pick these up next time. All right this is another food item and I don't have the bag anymore but they are woo, they are the raspberry Hershey Kisses. And these are so good. I got these from one of my friends. Um, she sent it to me on um, for Valentine's Day. And this is what they look like. They're actually really pretty. See? And to my surprise, the center is actually milk chocolate. See? Isn't that weird? For some reason, I expected it to be all white chocolate. But I think it's kind of cool. It's like a little surprise. But these are so creamy so good if you love raspberry things you'll love this mm. okay so on to the next i have a few more non-beauty product favorites i feel like all of my stuff is non-beauty product this month um what should i show you first i think i will show you guys this bracelet um this is a brighton bracelet and it has a quote on it it says some people come into our lives leave footprints I don't know if the font will show. And then the back it says, we footprints on our hearts and we are never the same. Okay, so my camera died. But anyways, let me pick up um, from where I left off. So I was talking about hinge bracelets and why they're so awesome. Um, they're usually made a little smaller because they are able to open so you don't have to, you know, get it over your hand. They're made to be put on this way. And they're just usually more fitted to my wrist. And um, I like that this is more like an elliptical shape rather than a circle. So it just seems like, I don't know, more flattering on my wrist. And I think it's really beautiful. It's a very simple bracelet, um, high polish, and it's a little vintage -y. I like the quote on this. Um, I'll read it again. Some people come into our lives, leave footprints on our hearts, and we are never the same. And I really like this quote because um, I think it applies to my experience um, at my job because all the people that I've met, all the people that I work with, they're just so incredible and they have definitely made me like a much better person and just, I don't know, like they have changed my life forever and I mean that's not something that I tell them every day but that is like how I feel about my experience at my job because I know like that's not going to be my job forever working at the dental office. Like I'm going to continue my education. I'm hopefully going to be a dentist one day. And yeah, so they just are, I don't know, just so encouraging and so kind. And I just have 
a really good relationship with all of them. So this bracelet will forever remind me of all them. Right, so this next item I'm like obsessed with. I think he's so adorable, so I have to show you guys. Um, it is my new iPhone case, and his name is Beavis. So Beavis World, World Beavis. Um, I had the Tory Burch iPhone case for a really long time. I think I Instagrammed it before, so if you guys are curious to see what that looks like, I have it on Instagram. I think I have, I have it on Facebook too. But anyways, when I saw this online on um, Nordstrom's.com, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. Like, he's so cute. And I'm like a rabbit sign on the Chinese zodiac I think that's what it's called so yeah I was like this is totally my thing right here and yeah I just think he's so cute and every time I look at him it just like brightens my day so I just really love my new iPhone case and yeah it's just really cute I just love him <laughs> all right so this next item is my last non-beauty product item and it is this lavender scarf and it has like me metallic threading going throughout and I picked this up in Florida, actually, um, when I was down there for the wedding. And um, I was not anticipating Florida to be very cold, but it ended up being, like, freezing and it rained. And, yeah, so I picked this up just for a little added warmth. It was on sale. Um, they probably still have it now, but I just thought it was, like, a beautiful scarf. I don't know why I picked lavender. They were, like, three other colors, too. But I think I picked it because maybe spring's around the corner. I'm kind of getting like spring fever or something. I don't know. And I think I like lavender on me. So I picked this up. It's really pretty. Um, really chunky knit. And I don't know. It just like ruffles and bunches up nicely. So I really like the scarf. Alright, so that's it for the non-beauty products. Um, I am going to get into my beauty items now. And I just have three things, so this will be pretty quick. The first item is the Clinique All About Eye Serum Deep Puffing Eye Massage Roll-On. Well, another mouthful. Um, this is what the sample looks like. I need to get the full size of this ASAP because this stuff worked way better than I expected. Um... This is what it looks like. It's just a roll-on. And I think there's, like, gel in there. And it's, like, clear. A clear gel formula. And I can roll it for you guys. So you guys can see. See? Can you see that? I don't know. It's, like, evaporating now. Anyways, when you roll this um, on under your eyes, oh my gosh, it is just, like, so refreshing and rejuvenating. And it feels amazing like if you are a person that has like dark circles um under eye problems definitely try this out because it's just like oh it works so amazing like it's just that coldness really helps it's almost like putting like a cold spoon on your eye without the spoon so loving loving this all about eye serum and i know sometimes when i wake up in the morning i kind of have like dry eyes just because of like the lack of humidity in the air or whatever the reason or even like throughout the day when my eyes feel tired I just roll this on right under my eye and instantly like I feel like I wake up it's kind of like putting eye drops in your eyes and you know how you get like that refreshing feeling same thing here like you just put it under your eyes and that same like refreshing feeling comes um like just comes back to your eyes so I don't know definitely give this a try I'm obsessed with it I need the full size right away all right, the last two products are, well, like the same product, but different um, shades. And they are the Color Whisper products, lip products um, by Maybelline. And last month, um, this Coral Ambition shade was in my favorites. And this is a really beautiful color. Um, I have this shade on in that video, so I'll have that video linked down below in the um, down bar so you guys can see what it looks like on my lips. And I also picked up the Pin Up Peach which I've heard a lot of great things about. And it's actually the shade that I have on today. And yeah, it's a really beautiful, just peachy color. And it flatters my skin tone really nicely. And I really, really like this. This didn't seem to crease up as much. I think it's like the lighter shades when they're like a little more milky that it tends to crease up. So I was glad I picked this one up. And yeah, it works really well. They're really lightweight when it's compared to like the Revlon Lip Butters. Um, they feel like they slide a little more because it is like a gel formula rather than like a waxy type formula. So I don't know. You'll have to try these and the Lip Butters just to kind of see what you like 
best um, but I think I still like the lip butters just because they seem to be a little more pigmented and um, just I don't know hydrate my lips a little better um, these don't seem to last as long but I do like the texture and how it looks on my lips and yeah I just I really like these products I do want to get the other shades though I'm just like kind of scared because they're a little pricey and I don't want to spend too much money on shades that I might not like so if you guys have tried a Color Whisper shade that you really, really enjoyed, um, please let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, those are my favorites for this month. And if you guys have favorites that you guys would like me to try or just want to share with me, leave them down below in the comments. Um, also, don't forget about my giveaways. I mentioned it in the beginning of the video. And yeah, I think that's it. I will catch you guys in my next video. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!